Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com, and Honeycomb is the big news in Android today. Specifically that Honeycomb, Android 3.0, is only going to be for tablets, not for smartphones. Of course, we never let that stop us before, so let's take a look at Honeycomb on your smartphone. <laughs> Okay, this is my T-Mobile G2, and it comes out of the box running Android 2.2, also known as Froyo. I've shown you in previous videos Android 2.3 Gingerbread via a custom ROM called Cyanogen Mod ROM, specifically CM7. The 7 is uh, what makes it Gingerbread versus 6, which is a, uh, an Android open source project build of 2.2, or Froyo. So, that out of the way, if you take a look at this, it looks like Honeycomb, and Honeycomb is Android 3.0, and we've only seen that on one product, that's the Motorola Zoom tablet, and in the Android SDK for developers. But you can see up here, I've got a uh, little bit of an interesting bluish color to my notification bar icons. I've got this neat little uh, Tron-style analog clock widget. I've got these guys up here, these are a couple of widgets. I'll show, show you what they are in just a minute. You can see that I've got the, uh, the honeycomb font up there with its folded paper look to it. Uh, coming over here, I've got very blue themes. In fact, you can see blue around there. In fact, if we come into the settings, come over here into the phone settings and look at sound, you'll notice up here, that these little drop downs have a blue hint to them. In fact, if we come in here to volume, you can see that there's this blue glow around the outside of that modal dialog box with this nice blue underline to it. Uh, I still have some green remnants. Now, why do I have green remnants in there instead of the, uh, the honeycomb blue? Well, that's simply because this is not honeycomb. Now, honeycomb, Google has hinted to us without saying it specifically, is not going to come to smartphones. Now that doesn't mean that Android 3.0 won't be ported or or deployed to a smartphone. It's just not built or designed for it. Instead, what we have here is a feature of Cyanogen Mod 7, which is called dun, 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 right down here, Theme Chooser. Now, Theme Chooser is an app that, well, it's named appropriately, so it lets you choose themes. Now these themes aren't like the themes that you're used to. Uh, for example, on ADW Launcher, we've got a video coming up very soon that shows you some theme ability on that, so you'll wanna make sure that you subscribe to our video channel so you don't miss that one. It'll probably be out this Thursday. Uh, of course, if you're watching this sometime in the future, it might already be out, but subscribe to the channel anyway so you can make sure you don't miss that. But what this feature does is it lets you download and install APKs either from the market or from other sources and sideload them, and that's what I've done here, that let you retheme everything. So here is a theme called System. Here is Honeybread, and that's what I'm running right now. Here is uh, Cyanbread. Androidian, he's a really cool guy, I like his stuff. But today what we're talking about is this Honeybread theme. All you need to do is go to our website at pocketnow.com, find the article associated with this video. Uh, it will be entitled Honeycomb on a smartphone or something to that effect and download the APK. Now, of course, prerequisites. You do have to have Cyanogen Mod 7, at least Nightly 22 if you're running on the uh, T-Mobile G2 like I am. You can tell if you are or not because if you are, you'll have that uh, that theme chooser app. And if you're not, then you won't. So uh, that's the first prere prerequisite. Second, you'll need to download this from the link of the article. Third, you'll need to install it. Fourth, you'll need to come to the theme chooser app and select it. Now, here's one thing I don't like about the theme right now. Take a look at the button down at the bottom. See that apply button? It's hard to see, isn't it? Yeah, especially way down here. It's even hard for me to see off camera. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply it. Now watch when I press it because there's another gingerbready thing. You see that? It was nice and blue, nice and blue, kind of an indigo. So kind of cool. Now, what it's done is it's just applied that theme and because I've already applied it in the past, that's all I have to do. But if I were applying this theme or another theme for the first time, then I would need to reboot my phone because some elements, specifically the UI elements up on the top that are core to Android, 
can't just be replaced while the phone is running. So they're all ready to go. I just have to reboot to apply them. So I've already done that in this case, so I don't have to bore you with that. But from that point, there you go. You've, you've got it. It looks very nice. You can see the really cool honeycomb-like wallpaper, the honeycomb-like coloring up there. Now you notice that nice, cool screen transition. This is Launcher Pro, yet another launcher that you can uh, download from the marketplace. Brandon's going to be doing a video on that in the next day or so. So again, if you haven't tuned into our channel and subscribed, now is the time to do that. Next up, this widget, the analog clock, comes with it. So all you got to do is drop it on there. And you saw that cool little animation that goes around. So it's not just the hands that animate, it's the whole clock. Really kind of cool. Next is these guys. Now these you've seen before, you just haven't seen me running these skins on them. First off is you've got beautiful widgets and this is their uh, their new super clock with the new battery status indicator and I'm sorry guys, I know how you guys like seeing 100% battery stuff but uh, I've been doing this all day and haven't had a chance to charge up so I'm at 36% with very heavy usage. But you can change out the weather icon with a battery icon, which is really kind of cool. Down underneath it, I've got a 4x1 weather, and I've got a weather skin on here that lets me choose, or lets me see it in kind of a more gingerbread style. To change that, you go into weather skins, and the one I'm running now is called Glow Droid, which looks really kind of neat on there. Uh, and of course, you can choose any of the others. You can even download stuff. Uh, just directly to your phone. So really kind of cool. I like how they've done that. But very, very much into uh, into the, the gingerbread theme. So that is pretty much all of it. Of course, we want to see what you do to make your phone look like honeycomb rather than gingerbread. And I think I said that wrong just a minute ago. But we want to see how you make your phone look very honeycomb-like. So please take some pictures and comment on our article over at pocketnow.com. If you want, we would love for you to shoot a video and show us what it looks like on your phone in operation and just tag those on as video comments to this video. Very cool stuff. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing stuff like this. And of course, head over to pocketnow.com to read all of our Android articles. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.